Hi everyone, this is Maria's Budgeting. Welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, I welcome if you are new. So today I'm going to be doing my weekly check-in for the fourth week of September. So today I'm going to be checking in for the rest of the month, which will be from the 23rd through the 30th. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have my stickers filled out. Um, so all I'm going to do is go ahead and lay down and explain my transactions. So on the 23rd, I did use my um, dates cash envelope and that was for Pinkberry and um, that was a total of $17 for two frozen yogurts and then I also did have a restaurants transaction for Del Taco that was a total of five dollars for for del taco and i didn't like del taco so i don't think i'll go back there um i just didn't like the food um on the 24th i did have a beauty sinking fund transaction and that was for my eyelashes i did have a free set that i had won in a giveaway a couple months back so i gave my stylist twenty dollars for the eyelash set as a tip maybe I should have done more I'm not sure but I gave her $20 and that was it on the 24th on the 25th I did use my dates cash envelope again and that is for a restaurant called El Forastero and that was a total of $19 for that transaction and last week was a very good eating out week as in I didn't really eat out but this week was horrible um, I have a tendency of being able to eat pretty well one week and then the next week I go crazy so I only gave myself a $25 budget because I had done so well the the week prior or the two weeks prior because I get paid bi-weekly I stuff bi-weekly so I gave myself the same amount because I was under budget last paycheck but this paycheck I'm over budget so thought I would let you guys know <laughs> on the 26th I did use my restaurant cash envelope for Chick-fil-a and that was a total of 25 so yeah um, on the 27th then I have a McDonald's transaction and this one is going to be unbudgeted because I didn't have any more eating out money so it's just gonna have to be unbudgeted on that same day I also did get some snacks and that is coming out of my spending cash envelope and that was a total of nine dollars for that transaction on that same day i also did get some rings there's people on tiktok that have mystery reveals for rings for jewelry it's called bomb party and um, I did get one ring and including shipping that cost me 28 again I am gonna make a sinking fund envelope that's miscellaneous spending I don't know what I'm gonna call it but I'm gonna make one because this ring transaction I didn't know where to take it out of so I took it out of clothing so um, yeah I'm gonna make myself some kind of sinking fund envelope for myself so I'm able to take money out of that if I don't have a specific category to take it out of. Um, the 28th was a no spend day. And then the 29th, I did go to Costco and it was a very small $10 transaction for groceries. And then I also did get gas at Costco and that was a total of $61 for a full tank of gas. And 
And then I went to Wingstop and that's going to be an unbudgeted transaction because again, I didn't have any more eating out money. So it's just going to be an unbudgeted transaction. And that was it for the 29th. On the 30th, I did use my sinking fund beauty transact beauty envelope for my threading transaction and that was a total of $30 including tip and I also have another eating out and budgeted transaction for $18 for El Forastero again and that should be all for my transactions so I have my red pen ready because I know that I had a budgeted transaction, so I am going to be negative in some categories. I was also over budget in some categories, so I'm going to be negative. So let's go ahead and get started with the check in, weekly check in spread. That's my old one, and this is the current one. So we're on week four. I added $40 for dates, $120 for gas, groceries, $120. Restaurants 25, spending 25, on budget it's just a placeholder, and then fun and miscellaneous got nothing. So let's go ahead and get started. So for dates, I did have two transactions for 17. I do have my calculator to the side, and $19 for El Forastero, which is a total of 36. I did start with 40, so that means that I have $4 remaining. Going back to the calendar. Oh, fun, really quickly. Let me just do fun and then miscellaneous. Okay, so moving on to gas. I know that I did have one gas transaction and that was Costco for 61. That means I have $59 remaining. Moving on to groceries, I only had one transaction. So for groceries we have Costco for 10. And I started with 120. So I have 110 remaining. Moving on to restaurants. For restaurants, I have I didn't mark this one off for dates. Um I have Del Taco for five, and then Chick-fil-A for 25. So that's a total of 30. That means I am a negative in this category. It seems like the sun is hiding and then it's coming out and it's hiding because clouds are moving really fast. So I do apologize for the lighting change. Moving on to spending, I had one transaction and that was for some snacks that was nine dollars and I started with 20 so that means that I have 11 remaining and then on to the unbudgeted transactions so for unbudgeted I have McDonald's for seven, Wingstop for 16, and El Forastero for 18, which is a total of 41. So total of 41, that means that I am negative 41. In total for the week, I am negative 46 because 41 plus five is 46. I'm going to go ahead and check my calendar really quick and I am going to make sure that I have marked everything off except for sinking funds 
And yes, everything is marked out for the week except for the blue stickers because those are sinking fund transactions. So we are good to do my unstuffing. Uh, just a reminder, if you are new, or just a explanation if you are new, um, I am a credit card user. I do not recommend it for everyone, only if you're disciplined. Of course, I do have unbudgeted transactions. I have overspending. I 100% do, but I do pay myself back for those transactions before my statement is due. So I am a pretty responsible credit card user if I say so myself. So that is why I use credit cards for the benefits of my building my credit score along with um, building points and getting cash rewards. So that is the reason why I use credit cards, but I do understand that it's not for everyone. So if you're not a responsible credit card user, do not recommend it at all. Stick to cash envelopes only. So I'm going to move on to my weekly check and spread again, and I'm going to bring out some cash to make change in my wallet so we can go ahead and end stuff. So I have everything ready to start my unstuffing. I am going to verify before I get started that this is $100 in change. So I have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. So these bills are really ugly, but that is what I have to work with. So let's go ahead and start the unstuffing. So first I have dates and dates has 40 and I'm going to take back four. One, two, three, and four. I do want to also mention that these wallets are available in my, in my Etsy shop if you guys are interested. Link is going to be down below in the description box. They do come with three zipper envelopes for cards, receipts, and coins, and I have six font choices um, that you guys can pick from. I also don't have any receipts with me, but I do have some in my um, vehicle that I'm going to scan into Fetch. Fetch is an app that you can download to your phone. You can scan receipts to give you points for those receipts and the points you can go ahead and redeem for gift cards. So I am going to leave my code on the screen and down below in the description box in case you guys are interested in signing up using my code. Fun doesn't have anything. Moving on to gas, we are unstuffing 61. So we're going to do 50, 60, and 70. So that means that I need nine back this should be 59 50 5 6 7 8 9 gas prices are so high thankfully i'm doing a lot more or a lot less driving than i was a couple months ago <laughs> because with the gas prices going up so high, I don't know what I would have done. For groceries, I'm just taking out a 20 and bringing back a 10 because all I spent was 10 and this should be 110. 20, 40, 60, 80, 110. Moving on to miscellaneous, we don't have anything. Restaurants, we are unstuffing all. 25 but I am over budget by five dollars and spending we are removing the 20 I am unstuffing nine so I need 11 so 10 and 11 Oops. all right and that is it for my wallet um I shouldn't have in this cash tray my total spending for the week because again I am over budget by $46 so I am going to calculate everything so 36 plus 61 10 39 41 but I am going to subtract 41 minus 5 is 141 that I unstuffed I am going to bring out, I guess I'll do 120s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And I'm going to go ahead and calculate this. This should be the 141. 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41. Perfect. So I am not going to take care of the negative um, 
46 until next week if I have any leftover money. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at it as is. Um, I do also have a buffer in my checkings that I can just take the $46 out of, but I am not sure if I want to do that. So if I have any leftover money next week, I'm probably going to take it out of there. But again, we'll go ahead and take care of that next week. So now I am going to move on to my sinking funds. I have, it, have already written them down. So um, here I have all of my sinking fund transactions, which are three um, three sinking fund transactions for beauty, clothing, and beauty again. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to bring out some money for change. I'm going to bring out my binders and we're going to go ahead and start the unstuffing process. I'm going to make sure this is $100 again for change, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. Perfect. Okay, so I have two envelopes to unstuff. My first one is going to be beauty, and I have 20 and 30, so that's a total of 50. I have a $50 bill, so I will not need change for this envelope. I have 10, 15, 16, and 17 left over. And then clothing. I guess I didn't need all this change. But I always like to prepare. We have 28. Or I might not need it at all. Who knows? 20, 30. Okay, I do need it. So I have 30. I'm going to bring back $2. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4 dollars left in clothing. And that is it for my binder. I'm going to bring out 100. So 100 is out of the tray, and I'm going to go ahead and calculate. Um, it's pretty easy because it's 50 and 28, so that is 78. Let's see. 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. So we have $78 that um, I have paid. I don't have my marker with me right now, so I will go ahead and mark off my sinking fund transactions when I have my marker because I like to keep the same color throughout the whole month. So I'm going to go back to my calendar view and we are going to go ahead and mark off the transactions. So threading, rings, and eyelashes. And that is it for this weekly check-in. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!